So this question starts off by providing us with a system of equations. This system of equations can be simplified. This first equation can definitely be simplified. Um, I'll deal with that in a second. The second equation has like this H here, which is a bit weird. So let's, let's see what's going on. In the given system of equations, H is a constant. If the system has no solution, what is the value of H? Well, in order for a system to have no solution, two things must happen. And really, the first thing is the main thing. The second thing is kind of a, a, a verification of the fact that it has no solution. So the first thing that we have to make sure happens here is that both x and y cancel out simultaneously. The simultaneously part is important because all we're really going to try to do is to use elimination to cancel out one of the variables. And in doing that one step, the other variable will also cancel out, not even without us really trying to make it do so. Two, once that's occurred, we need to make sure that whatever remains is not true. So the remaining is not true. So there are our two steps. So I am going to simplify this first equation and I'm gonna just get things in the same order, right? So my second equation has a y and then our, its number and then our x term. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my top equation. So I'm gonna get my y's by themselves. So I am going to subtract nine y from both sides. And then I'm gonna have my number five, that's good. Then I'll bring this four x over here by subtracting four x from both sides. So when I do that, the top equation, I end up with negative 18y, right, because I subtracted 9y from both sides, that cancels on that side, is equal to 5, so there's my number, um, and then minus 4x. Okay, so there's my simplified and restructured equation 1. My second equation will stay as is, hy equals 2 plus 4x. All right, so what do you know? I don't have to really do anything here because by simply adding these two equations together, my x's will cancel out. Based upon what I know has to be true in order for the system to have no solutions, that means that my y values should also cross out. But how would that happen? How would a negative 18y and a hy cancel out? The only way that that could possibly happen is if h is equal to positive 18. That would be the only way that that could happen, right? And the second step here, which again, I said is kind of like a verification step, would be if h were 18, then I'd have 0 here, right? Because negative 18y plus 18y would be 0 is equal to 7. This is also gone. And that, in fact, is not true. So the remaining 0 equals 7 is not true. So h equals 18 is our answer. Therefore, choice D is correct.